difference between now and when it was when I was diagnosed in 1985 um, is absolutely extreme. You know, my GP diagnosed it. My, my real memory is that weirdly is feeling sorry for him because in 1995 telling somebody that they're HIV positive was, you know, giving them a death sentence. You were saying, you're going to die. For the next couple of years, you know, taking pills and potions was like a full-time job, you know, and the clinic was just awful. Um, you know, the staff and everything were always great, but you know, you'd see people who looked so sick and, you know, you'd see them every week and then you'd just never see them again. They were, at the time, developing these new drugs, you know, there were trials and all that, and early results were promising, and, and that was the start of the, the sort of change. I went from taking 38 things to 30, to 20, to 12, to 8, um, and, and as they developed more, you, know, you found ones that didn't give you side effects and so on and so forth. And so eventually it got to the point where, you know, I have now for God, I, I guess 10 years, I'm, I'm pulling numbers out of my head here, but around 10 years, I've been taking one pill every day. I take it in the morning and I just get on with my life. You know, I have the same chance as anybody else to live a long and healthy life. It's also, you know, I'm now non-infectious, so I can't give it to somebody else. Um, and, and that may seem like a small thing in comparison to, you know, not dying. But actually, psychologically, that's super important to people because um, there was always this sort of feeling that you were tainted or something, or you could hurt somebody else or whatever. I, I suspect a majority of people, they hear the word AIDS and they still think of it you know, as we did in 1990. The fear of HIV stops people going to get tested. It makes people embarrassed about you know, going to get tested and all that. And the only people who can die from HIV, should be dying from HIV these days, are people who don't know they have HIV and aren't on treatment. Because you know, that's when you can get sick. We need people to feel totally comfortable about going and getting an HIV test. It should be accessible and easy to everyone. And nobody should be ashamed or embarrassed about it.